Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another tutorial and today's look is inspired by fall. I hope it will give you an idea on what kind of colors and styles you should be wearing this fall. I hope you guys like it. If you do, keep watching to find out how to recreate it. Oh, and before I begin with the tutorial, I want to answer a question that's been asked by a lot of you over and over again on my social media network pictures and videos. You guys always ask me if I'm pregnant. I'm not pregnant yet. That'll be a news that I would definitely want to share with you. That'll, you know, that'll be a joy, of course. I'm not yet pregnant, but I did put on some weight. I've been eating a lot lately. I love food, I enjoy eating, so yeah, I've put on some weight. And I did want to put on a little bit of weight because um, I just believe that curves are beautiful and also I think that curves suit me more than, you know, being skinnier. So yeah, I decided to put on some weight. So that's all it is. I'm not pregnant yet, guys. I'm gonna let you know where I am. Speaking of which, I wanted to show you guys this cool new app that I downloaded from the Apple Store. You can actually get it for free from the Android Apple Store or on the Apple Watch as well. It's very cool. I think all women should have this app. It's actually tracking your menstrual cycle. It's gonna tell you when you're gonna get it and also notifies you. It also has a PMS tracking, so it tells you when you're gonna actually have your PMS and when you're gonna go crazy. So in that time of the month, you should avoid any conflict. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys some screenshots of it real quick before we begin. And yeah, you guys can get it by clicking in the link in the description of below. Alright guys, so here's how the Clue application looks like. The more information you put in, like your mood, sexual activity, pain and so on, the more precise it is. Basically, it tells you what's going on in your body. It also tells you which days are more likely for you to get pregnant and which ones are less likely for you to get pregnant. If you are on the pill, it uh, gives you reminders on when to take it. So it's very clean, easy to use and accurate. So you guys can check it out from the App Store. Now let's begin with the tutorial. First I'm going to apply some eyeshadow base and this is MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. Then I'm going to take this Amazonian Clay eyeshadow palette by Tarte and I'm going to take this plum shadow from the palette with MAC 217 brush. I'm going to just blend that on the outer part of my eye and into the crease area and upper crease as well because this is also gonna act as our transitioning shade so I'm going to build it there gradually I'm gonna apply a little at a time when applying dark shadows you want to make sure that you build them gradually because um, you don't want to apply too much at first I'm using this stickers underneath they're going to give me a very nice and clean and sharp line because I was going for that kind of a cat shape I'm gonna clean the brush and blend around the edges then I'm going to take a little bit more of the shadow to deepen it and keep applying, keep adding as you go. You want it to look very, very nice and smooth and well blended, of course. And using the right brush really helps in this case. So just keep adding a little at a time and keep blending. Next, I'm going to take this matte black eyeshadow and I'm going to take a smaller blending brush that is tapered and just place that on the outer part of the lid and just a little bit just below the crease area so just on that outer part and this will give us that sharp cat eye shape <laughs> so just keep blending as you go and keep adding a little at a time basically it's the same technique as the first shade that we applied then take a clean blending brush and just go around the edges now you don't want to blend the black part because that's going to spread all over so you want to just go around the edges and soften the lines this is important when blending basically and also when doing smoky eye this is the trick you're just going around the edges now I'm going to remove the sticker which I already did before and uh, just clean up underneath with some foundation and you're good to go. Next we're going to highlight the brow bone and for this I'm using one of the shades, the light shades from the palette. Then I'm going to take this green, olive green shadow and it has a bit of a shimmer in it. And with a shader brush I'm going to place this all over the lid. So just make sure you don't go into the black. So just play it on the lid only. So keep adding and you don't want to apply too much of this, I think that's just enough. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush and the same plum eyeshadow that I placed into the crease area and I'm going to warm up the lower lash line and also 
going to define it with this shadow. So just keep adding a little at a time. And then I'm going to kind of blend this out just to soften it. And for this I'm going to take um, the MAC 217 blending brush. And I clean this brush in between on the Vero Mona switch. Now I'm taking a flat shader brush and actually flat definer brush and the matte black eyeshadow and with this I'm going to define the lower lash line further and this will really really define the lower lash line. Now for the waterline I'm going to use black eyeliner pencil and this will really make my eye color stand out. I'm applying that on the top waterline as well. Now I'm going to apply some lashes and these are Starlet by House of Lashes and on the bottom I'm going to apply these ones by Flutter Lashes and once I'm done applying the lashes I'm going to highlight underneath my eye just to brighten it and the center of my chin a little bit. I'm using MAC concealer for this and then I'm going to take my foundation brush and just kind of buff that into the skin and you can see how it's nice and highlighted. I'm not doing my forehead. I normally just do underneath. It depends on my mood really. Sometimes I do the forehead as well. Just the center of it. And the bridge of my nose. But today I just felt like, you know, using less products. So I'm, that's why I'm just doing it underneath the eyes and the center of my chin. So once it's nicely blended, I'm going to set that with some powder. And I'm using Urban Decay The Sleek Powder. And I'm just applying it all over basically because I'm very, very oily lately. So um, I need to just remove that shine. Sorry about the background noise guys. That's Kasuku there playing with his toy. He's destroying it actually. And he wouldn't stop. So just excuse him in the background. On my lips I'm first using Beat by MAC. And um, I just found that this one was a little bit too light. For the liquid lipstick that I'm going to use. So I decided to darken it with Colourpop LBB. And I'm going to list all the products that I used in this video in the description box below so you guys can check it out for more details. And the liquid lipstick I'm using is by Dose of Colors and this is Berry Me. It's one of my favorite berry shades. It dries matte and I'm going to show you how it looks like in a second. It's a really really pretty color for fall. You guys should um, definitely try it out. Now I'm going to use my Anastasia Contour Kit and... I'm going to contour my face basically with these two shades and I'm going to use Tarte's contouring brush. I just got this one last week and I've been really loving it. I use it almost every time I do my makeup. So I'm going to do the sides of my forehead as always. I'm going to go around my chin and jaw jawline as well and make sure that you blend really well when applying the contour shades. You can do this with bronzer as well. It's the same thing really. I'm going to sculpt my cheeks as well. And just keep blending. This brush is perfect. The shape is amazing for this. It gives you that nice and clean line. Now I'm going to apply Bobbi Brown Apricot Blush on the apples of my cheeks with an angle brush. And extend it into the contour a little bit. So just keep blending. Apply a little at a time. And that's about it. Now we're going to highlight the face. First I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose. Then I'm going to apply some of that highlighter on my highest points of my cheekbones basically. I love this highlighter. It's gel to powder texture. They're actually on her website now. You can get them. That was it for today's tutorial guys, I really hope you enjoyed this look and you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, I'm going to put the link right here so you guys can click on it and subscribe, try it out and see how it looks on you. If you don't have the exact same products that I use, don't forget to, you can use whatever you have at home, I always say this, provided they're similar shade and textures, they will do the job. Make sure you invest in good brushes, because brushes are everything in creating um, eye looks. And yeah, tag me on Instagram. My hashtag is Maya Makeup. You have a chance to be featured on my page, of course. And also you can tag me on Twitter, Facebook, and whatever social media out there that I have. <laughs> you guys can find all of them in my bio. So yeah, let's get in touch. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you have any 
ideas on what my next video should be you can also leave them in the comment section below thank you again for watching guys i love you all and i will see you soon with another tutorial until then stay blessed love you bye Mwah.